Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Tuesday, June 27th. I understand why these travel advisories are out there. I actually know a few personal friends that have already left because they don't feel safe in Florida. Flagler Pride defies travel advisories and celebrates resilience during Pride Month. Amy Cherry has our lead story. Despite travel advisories issued by the Human Rights Campaign, the NAACP, and other groups that warn about newly passed laws in Florida that could pose a risk to LGBTQ, minority, and immigrant travelers, Erica Rivera, president of Flagler Pride, says it was important for them to celebrate during Pride Month. The reason why we decided to go forward with Pride and the reason why we're still doing this is because we want to combat that too. How do you fight something if you're not here? We have to still be present. So if we just all get on an airplane and leave, then we're really not doing anything about it. Rivera says the new laws have caused worry in the LGBTQ community. With gun laws becoming less strict, too, you know, there's a worry there. I've actually had some members of the community approach me as president and say, hey, you know, are we going to do something about maybe getting a bouncer for, for like our pride nights? And I've never even had to think of that. I'm like, we're in Flagler Beach. We have such a chill spot that we're at. But, you know, these are real issues that the community is thinking about. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. A suspected drug dealer faces murder charges in connection with an overdose death. Sheriff Rick Staley says the man was originally charged with manslaughter in the 2020 death of Sean Callahan after the suspect sold drugs to the victim. A poison peddler that sold a fatal dose is now facing first-degree murder charges after the Flagler County Grand Jury indicted him for selling that fatal dose. This is again a warning to poison peddlers that if you sell the fatal dose, we investigate every overdose death as a first-degree murder. And we'll do our best to put you in prison for the rest of your life. Trial is set to begin July 17th. He is also charged with unlawful use of a two-way communications device, possession of marijuana, sale of cocaine within 1,000 feet of a school, and violation of pretrial release. He is jailed on no bond. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Rich Petschke. The Palm Coast City Council is holding a special workshop meeting this morning. Brittany Kershaw is the Director of Communications and Marketing. The topics for discussion include the Flagler County Sheriff's Office budget, the Strategic Action Plan, which will go through all of the priorities for the City of Palm Coast that were adopted by City Council. This will include the action plans for each department on how they are going to accomplish those goals. There will be a facility assessment of Fire Station 22. This assessment will include identifying areas of deficiency possible future uses of the facility, remediation methods, and an estimate of the probable cost to make all of these improvements to the building. Public comment will be available at the beginning and the end of the meeting. And as always, the public is encouraged to get involved and attend the City Council meeting. The meeting is at 9 a.m. in the community wing of City Hall at 160 Lake Avenue. Emergency road repair work is coming to Flagler County this week. The cross streets of Woodhaven Drive and Pine Lakes Parkway will be closed as stormwater crews replace a pipe that's become faulty, causing unsafe traveling conditions, so an emergency structural repair is needed on this portion of the roadway. The road closure will be in effect tomorrow, Wednesday, June 28th, from 7 a.m. to 3.30 as necessary repairs are being made. The road closure will begin at the intersection of Woodhaven Drive and Pine Lakes Parkway, motorists will be detoured to the southern entrance of Woodhaven Drive and Pine Lakes Parkway to reach the main road of Belterre Parkway. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. How can you help during this hurricane season? Susie Gamblain, who's the director of the Flagler Volunteer Services, says it's easy. The best way is to go to our website at www.flaglervolunteer.org, and there's a button that says sign up to be a volunteer. She said that they will need you. Hurricane Matthew, I think we used over 3,000 volunteers for just that storm. Flagler Health Matters is on WNZF. Saturday mornings at 1130 and on the Flagler radio app. Tomorrow, more about hurricane season. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.